I'm here at the uh, Van Nuys Flyway, and uh, my flight leaves in two and a half hours. Hope I make it. This is actually my second time in New York. The first time I was just there really briefly with my daughter when we came cross country, so I'm, I'm really excited. When I got off the plane, I noticed it was like friggin' cold and it's not like California, but I thought about that beforehand, so today at CrossFit, I picked up Boom Chicaraca. I am ready for New York. I should probably put the pants on too, but I'm not gonna. Apparently I need to take the air train to Jamaica Station to uh, the first Penn Station and then go somewhere else. <laughs> I hope I make it. Have you even heard of an air train? It sounds like something from Harry Potter. I'm super jazzed. They got these walkway things everywhere, man. You just walk at 20 miles an hour. This is a completely different world. Not even sure what to do here, but I'm gonna try. Well, it worked. Yes, I put this here. Yeah, it's letting me out. It's all very confusing. It literally feels like I'm in a movie set. This is so cool! Penn Station on this side, too. I need to go 33rd to somewhere, but I... I'm like all... Giddy is a schoolgirl. I just have no idea where to go next, man. Yep. Yep. Of course, man, yeah. It's the middle of the night and there is just action everywhere. And I'm still not sure where I'm going, but I'm trying to get there. Walk, walk, discover like the streets and the people in the city. New York City is all about the melting pot, different realities, different backgrounds. By walking, the beauty comes out uh, in the streets. Somehow, I made it with this guy, and thanks to this guy, give me uh, lots of insight and directions all along the way. I texted him like a hundred times, <laughs> like, hey, where do I go now, Jonah? And Nate is being a good guy, because Nate hates it when I record video. He wants to be present. Be present, guys. Yeah. Will I look like a tourist if I wear this? Sure. I don't want to look like a tourist. What does Josh say about Jersey? Zach? Yeah. He says it's the only state you can smell from another state. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. What's good? Brownie explosion. I would like one brownie explosion, please. Brownie explosion. This doesn't feel at all like Moore Park. I've noticed New York is really cold and really full of lots of people. Really cool. I kind of dig it. Yeah. But it's just, did, I, did I mention it's cold? My internet friend acquired a body. I'm a real person. I've never actually had a New Jersey bagel. This is going to be my first experience. Jonah and Nate got me one. Whoa. Look at this thing. Tell me how to have success on Tinder. Uh, you just play the numbers game, swipe right on everyone. No pressure, best tip, go. Best tip, um... Forgive him. <laughs> Jeez. Um... I, wait, no, 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 cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> Walk fast. <laughs> okay, so apparently there are local trains and express trains, and we just try to get here. Where are we? Uh, dude, I don't know where we are. We're trying to give a Franklin Street. We passed it twice because we are stupid Californians. But now, okay, I'm not stalking Casey Neistat. I'm just gonna go like by his place because I've seen it on the YouTubes. I don't wanna make sure it exists and get video of that. I wouldn't bother him because he just had a kid and stuff. Nate's really excited. Yeah, why's that? Because <laughs> we're about to see 368. I wonder if it's open yet. I don't think it's open yet. But uh, we're about to see 368. Boy, I like tweak like that. Uh, there we go, now I'm really good looking. Right there is 368. You can tell because it says 368. And right there, that's Casey's place. 
Under construction. I've confirmed 368 is still closed. Opening soon. I should come back when it's open. It opens periodically, so what they're waiting for is like a crowd control permit. Oh, right. So they could actually legitimately open it up as a business. Okay, apparently he doesn't want people uh, bugging him in there, so I will respect his space. He wants to bring in, you know, smaller creators and help curate a, a culture. My name is Sarah Dietrich Ryan Sapici. I make videos around tech and creativity. And I would say in the very beginning when you're making videos to actually not start out vlogging. Try out different formats of content, figure out what you like in the beginning, and then go for the quantity. But I think in the beginning, it's more about quality, more about what you, or like how you like to make videos. Because it's, it's fun, right? Thank you, Sarah, for taking a second to talk to me. You're, you're awesome. Our goal is to get to Central Park before it's dark. We're trying to find bikes to rent. Bikes to rent at Central Park before dark. Except we got up at noon and it's almost dark. But hey, look, bikes. Not that you can tell from this, but I'm in Central Park. We're in search of some genuine New York Cold Stone ice cream. Yeah. Look at this. I found it. Cold Stone in New York. How much do you love New York? Do you want me to tell the truth? Yes. Tell the truth. Not much. Why? I'm tired of it. Don't come here. Save yourself. It's great to visit. It sucks to live here. Where else can you get high in a Cold Stone though, man? Can you smell that? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I definitely smell it. It's like four degrees outside, so we brought our, our Cold Stone into McDonald's. We're trying to find our way home from Times Square. Nate, how do we do it? How do we get home? Go to the subway. What do we need to know about New York? We're visiting for like two days. You have pure entertainment right here. All I do is pull teeth. Streak on the train. We're in New York! Well, we wanted to go to the Natchez Museum because it's more natural, but we made it to the Met. And we're pretty excited because we're both museum people. We figured, how long are we last in here, Nate? Well, maybe 10 minutes if we're lucky. 10 minutes. It's kind of small out here, so we're just going to do the quick, quick run through and see how it goes. Do you think back in the day she was considered hot? Can you imagine having to put that on oh, every day right. before work? That would, that would suck. We are uh, trying to find our way home from Chinatown. I'm not sure how to do that, but I got, I got the Oracle right there. Which way? I don't know, I think that way. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to move, but you keep filming. So excited to work that time. I'm like a regular New Yorker. Hope a passage on the last train out. It says Newark, Nate. We found it, look it. It says Newark. New Jersey's a very dangerous place. So what happened to this poor girl? <laughs> what happened to you? I got in really big trouble. But were you saved by 11? <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, I lived as a millennial. In fact, I lived here. This is my living quarters. I got the basement with my son Nate down here. This is uh, actually pretty cool in Jersey. Slept in till noon. The best day. I slept until 1.20 p.m. yesterday, just like a millennial. It was awesome. Okay, we're trying to go home. I think we're at the right place to catch the right path train. These are the people at Harrison. <laughs> and this is our guide. <laughs> <laughs> I just landed at LAX and dude, I had a great trip. The best part was hanging out with my son Nate, who I barely get to see. But what was also cool is I got to meet lots of cool people like like her. And her? <laughs> how you doing? Are you the captain? I am the captain. I got to meet the captain. What's your name? <laughs> Mike Farrell, how you doing? You wanna nice, go take nice a look flight, up front? Dude. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, here we'll give you a quick tour. Look, yeah. I'm just saying how nice everybody is and you just prove it. That's the one thing I got out of New York. People are cool. I just, I love people. And dude, I love hanging out with my son. I don't get to see him enough. My other son, Kelson, was supposed to come, could make it, but hopefully, hopefully next time. Did you know I used to want to be an airline pilot? Got my private pilot's license. But you know, now I'd, I'd rather do what I do. Make videos and sell houses. Wow.